recommend engaging a professional to produce your floor because they will ensure it is square and dimensioned to accommodate your decision regarding the thickness of the shear wall material, foam sheets, wire, wrap, and stucco, or perhaps brick or stone veneer. The distance from the edge of the floor to the chalk line is determined by the thickness and the weight of these layers. The floor professionals will determine the appropriate dimensions and build your floor to accommodate your choices. The panel layout plan of your Frame Up Now project is dimensioned to be perfectly aligned to the edge of the floor. And here we assume that the sheer wall and additional wall buildup material extend past the edge of the floor. The following instructions for laying out the snap lines for your Frame Up Now wall panels apply to all types of floors, concrete slab or subfloor, and all levels, ground, first, or subsequent levels. Before you install the wall panels, you need to make sure that the layout for your walls is square on the floor. You can't rely on your floor because occasionally floors are a bit out of square. First, a few notes about the tools and technique for snapping lines. Prepare the chalk reel box, chalk powder, 100 foot measuring tape, chalk stick, and a sharpie. To snap a perfectly straight chalk line, you need to pull it tight. Think of this like a string on an archery bow. Not so tight that it breaks, but tight enough that it will give a good snap. Once pulled tight, hold the string against the surface at your mark. Pull the string away from the floor and let it go to snap a chalk line on the floor. To snap long chalk lines accurately when chalking your floor, follow these steps. Attach the chalk line at the starting point of the line. Drive a temporary nail at this point and wind the string around the nail. Now pull the string loaded with chalk out of the chalk reel and go to the mark on the opposite end of the floor. Secure the chalk line at the end point of the line or have a helper to hold the line in place and tight while you snap the chalk line. Holding the midpoint down, snap one side, then the other side. This will give you a more accurate snap. If the following instructions seem confusing to you, you can call your floor contractor to help you accurately snap the lines. Snapping lines on the largest rectangle on your floor provides a square reference for the remaining areas lying inside or outside the large rectangle. Here, we demonstrate a combination of two standard methods for snapping a series of square layout lines for your walls, the 3-4-5 method and the diagonals method. We recommend that you go through all the steps outlined here to ensure that the frame installation is off to a good start. If these instructions seem confusing, you can find lots of other resources for doing this on the internet, or you can ask your floor contractor to help you with this step. The 3-4-5 method. Step 1. Locate the largest rectangle of your floor and snap a reference line on one of the long walls, 5.5 inches from the outer edge. Step 2. Mark point A. On the line you just snapped, measure five and a half inches from the other edge of the floor. Step three, mark point B. 40 feet from point A along the same line. Step four, snap a parallel line 30 feet from the reference line. Make sure this line is parallel to the reference line by measuring between them at each end. Step 5. Mark point C by measuring 50 feet diagonally from point B to the place where it intersects the second line you snapped. Step 6. Now snap the line from point A through point C and past it, all the way to the edge of the floor. The reference line and the AC line are now perfectly square. Step 7. We will mark the remaining large exterior walls next. 
read your floor plan to find the dimensions X and Y, the distances between the interior sides of the exterior walls. Use dimension X to mark the snap line for the wall opposite the reference wall. Make sure these lines are parallel by measuring between them at each end. Step 8. Use dimension Y to mark the snap line for the wall opposite the AC wall. Make sure these lines are parallel by measuring between them at each end. Step 9. Measure and snap the lines for smaller rectangles using the same method. The 345 formula can be adjusted for any size space. Just make sure to use the appropriate multiplier or denominator, like we did here with 30, 40, 50 feet. For a smaller space, this may be 15, 20, 25 feet, 9, 12, 15 feet, or 6, 8, 10 feet. Now, let's double check using the diagonals method. Step 10. You have snapped the four lines on the largest rectangle of your floor. These are the interior sides of your exterior walls, and therefore you have the four interior corners of your home marked. Now measure the diagonals between these corners. Start with point A and go to the opposite corner, then measure the other diagonal. If these two diagonal dimensions match, you have confirmed that your layout is square. Follow the same instructions for the second level. Snapping lines for the interior walls is optional but not necessary because the exterior walls are now square and the panels are dimensioned and labeled precisely. Before securing the interior panels to the floor, make sure to confirm they are square using a large framer's square. If you have any questions about the frame assembly process, you can contact us at 1-888-864-0184.